UK hostage John Cantley now providing on-the-ground ISIS reports. What would you do to save your neck? Convert to a perverted form of Islam that seeks to control much of the planet? Become a propaganda mouthpiece like World War II's Tokyo Rose? Perhaps offer on-the-ground pro-ISIS reports? Let's be frank, most of us would do all of the above to avoid a day with Jihadi John. This is John Cantley in happier times. He spent years as a war correspondent before being captured by Syrian militants in 2012. Now, however, Cantley has become ISIS's official media correspondent offering reports from the besieged Syrian border town of Kobani. First, let's give credit where credit is due. ISIS has definitely stepped up its video production capacities, with slick graphics and even shots from a drone. Hello, I'm John Cantley, and today we're in the city of Kobani on the Syrian-Turkish border. That is, in fact, Turkey right behind me, and we are here in the heart of the so-called PKK safe zone, which is now controlled entirely by the Islamic State. Now, for a month now, the soldiers of the Islamic State have been besieging this key Kurdish city. And despite continual American airstrikes, which so far have cost nearly half a billion dollars in total, the Mujahideen have pushed deep into the heart of the city. They now control the eastern and southern sectors. The video then goes on for a full five minutes, but its purpose is clear to counter Western media reports that ISIS is on the back foot in Kobani. John Cantley is a hostage and obviously under duress. He may not even know that his father, who recently issued an emotional plea for his son's release, passed away last week. What John is doing is pretty understandable. The more interesting question is why ISIS is making slick news videos. Is it because they truly have the upper hand? Or are they so desperate the only weapon they have left is propaganda? you <laughs>